Hello! How you doing? My name's Mike, and I want to talk about these survival shirts I've been making. That's <clears throat> what I'm calling them. It's just a military surplus wool shirt, and uh, I make these little kits. I put them in the pockets, and I've got a couple different versions here. This was the first one. It wasn't even intended to be a survival shirt. It was just a well-made shirt that I thought I should have. Uh, everybody should have something that's wool that keep you warm even when it's wet. And I added these elbow patches, and it was just for fun, you know. But uh, I put some things in the pockets that could help you get through a difficult situation if you're ever hiking and stranded in the woods. So, uh, but I want to compare this to another shirt, show you a few differences and improvements I made. <clears throat> and one thing about this shirt is it's a, it's a later model than the other one. I don't know how you'd be able to get exactly what you want if you ordered it, but just something to be aware of. The pockets on this one ride kind of high. Uh, which makes putting gear in the pockets a little bit uncomfortable for me. I've got a little bit of muscle on me, and it's just better if they ride lower. So let's talk about that on this other shirt here. <clears throat> what I got here is uh, an older version. It just worked out that way. Buttons are kind of older. They look like more like they're from the 50s. Although all this uh, collar here, pretty pointy, it's like the 70s. Insert this go ball here. <laughs> And um, another friend of mine sent me a set of modern BDUs, uh, Marine Corps issue, uh, but they were too small. It was a medium, and I'm clearly not a size medium, but I cannibalized a shirt, and I sewed the pockets on the sleeves of this thing, and I added the cargo pockets on the back. Now, I'm totally wearing this here, and I've got everything I need to help me survive and actually do pretty well in the woods uh, or the desert or anywhere you find yourself. Now, uh, I'll just go through what I have in here. One of the things I've been recommended to people, and I love it, is this book. The SAS Survival Manual. If you've got this book and a decent knife, you can thrive. So, very important. I recommend everybody gets it. It's just fun. It's, it's got even color images of edible plants uh, somewhere in here. I know I've seen them. Now, here we go. So... Don't leave home without it. I even have a plastic fork in here from lunch a few weeks ago. Could just come in handy. That's just kind of a goof, but uh, you can add it in there. I've got a, a pretty extensive survival kit right here. I make these. I, I collect the tins. I start with Altoid cans, and I discover these Whitman sampler tins, which for me, they're a little bit taller, so I can fit more gear in them. <clears throat> I'll go through that in another video, but you can check out my Facebook page, which is uh, Los Angeles Urban Survival and Preparedness and uh, see the picture reviews I've done of these. Each one's a little bit different, but uh, neat thing, kind of a fun project. Do with the family, do for yourself. This is what's called the demo knife. It's a stainless steel pocket knife. Uh, it was issued to troops um, right up through till the 90s. I believe they still are out there. I think I've seen some that are in the 2000s. Uh, all of them are, they're all dated on the blade. Um, I've had these for years. Used to be able to buy these for four to six dollars, and now uh, people are trying to get upwards of a hundred dollars for them on eBay. It's pretty crazy. But if you look around, you can still get a pretty good deal. They also come in some survival kits. I, I highly recommend this pocket knife. It's great. My favorite feature is the awl. That's what I call it. But I've used this to drill holes even in uh, iron wood that's classified as ironwood, and uh, it's fabulous. Really neat tool. For all kinds of things. <laughs> so those two pockets are empty. Up here, <clears throat> right now, I happen to have the fishing kit from the U.S. Marine Corps Survival Kit, and um, this is really extensive, really well-made kit. It's also got some brass wire in here you can use for snares. Um, I have another one of these in my other shirt that I cannibalized a few things, added a few other things to make it even more extensive. Also taped on a Fresnel lens to the back of this, which is a magnifying glass you can use to start fires. Or read the small print in this book if your eyes are starting to go like mine. <laughs> uh, other upper pocket on this side, <clears throat> I've got a uh, Sharpie. Leave a note for somebody. You know, maybe you were supposed to meet somebody, they didn't show up. Tell them where you're going. In this tin, I've got cordage, quite a bit of it actually, probably about 30 feet of cordage, maybe more. Another Fresnel lens. I've got a leather patch I can make a sling with. Don't laugh at that. You know, you can make a sling pretty simple. You should Google it, and within 15 minutes of practice, you can pretty much hit anything you're aiming at. It's not that difficult. You know, 
man for hundreds of thousands of years hunted with a sling. <laughs> uh, aside from that, there's also some snare wire in here, and uh, I think that's about it. What else do I got? Lower pockets on this side, which I buttoned. Should have been unbuttoned for time, right? Let's see what I got in here. I've got a little baggie with some TP. I got some hearing plugs, uh, ear plugs to lessen my hearing. Lip balm, a lighter, oh, some matches just for the heck of it. I, in the survival kit, I have a ferro rod as well. In this pocket, I've got another little book. You know, look. Something to read is not a bad idea. You know, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and if you've been able to feed yourself and you're sitting around and you want to keep yourself sane, uh, this happens to be The Art of War, which, by the way, if you haven't read it, do it. It's good stuff. It gives you something to think about. But these uh, little pocketbooks are published, uh, what is this? Uh, I don't even know. But different companies publish different pocketbooks. It's not such a bad idea. I've also got a Mylar uh, survival blanket here. This could save your life. You know, there are people that get lost hiking and die just because of exposure to the elements. Just, they get too cold and they die. That's a horrible thing. And for a couple dollars, you could just have one of these in your pocket. It could save your life. So, just do it. I put the uh, cargo pockets from the trousers on the back here. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that, but it actually worked out pretty well. Um, plenty of room. You know, even with the stuff I have in these pockets, there's still more room in each one of these pockets. If you want to put more things or a larger can or whatever, you can. It's all up to you. In these back pockets, you can add a poncho. Uh, you won't get a poncho liner in here. Those things are too big. But you can have another Mylar blanket if you want, more cordage, whatever. You know, I haven't tried it, but you could probably put a small water container in here. And actually, speaking of that, I happen to have the water bladder that comes in the USMC survival kit. This thing is no joke. I mean, I've heard people knock it when they open those kits up. This is heavy duty rubber, rubberized plastic. I mean, it's hard to tear this thing. And it, I've tried it. It does seal. And uh, there's a little loop on the back here. You could hook it on your belt. But I've got enough cordage in this shirt where I can run this across my shoulder and carry it right there. Uh, it's, it's not such a bad idea. And by the way, I don't have anything in here at the moment to boil water. But I've been saving those tins when you, you know, get delivery. I'm a single guy. <laughs> so I get a lot of uh, delivery to my home. And wash those things out. You could fold up uh, an aluminum pan, stick it in this shirt. Now you can boil water. i got something else in here. Nothing else on that side. This side, drinking straw, survival water filter straw. It works pretty much like the water filter in your uh, in your refrigerator if you got one of those pitchers. I think it's good for like 200 gallons or something. I don't even know. Look it up. Tell me. <laughs> but uh, hey, drink water out of a puddle with this thing. 21 bucks. It's worth it. Maybe you can find them cheaper, let me know. I've also got some dressings from my old Marine Corps days, uh, really old stuff, uh, gauze and whatnot. And that's what I happen to have in this shirt. And I'll tell you, when all this stuff is in this shirt, it's not light. It's probably a good three to five pounds with all that stuff in there. But when you're wearing it, you don't really feel it. Um, it's kind of a fun project to do. You should do it. And uh, if you're interested in seeing more pictures of this stuff, <clears throat> if you want to see what I keep in these kits, I'm going to do another video just on these. But feel free to check out the Facebook page. It's Los Angeles Urban Survival and Preparedness. Uh, it's kind of fun. I'm helping people out here. If you need help, if you want to set your house up for an earthquake, to have water and food and some gear, learn how to use it, you can contact me through there. Um, I also I build furniture. It's MikeZDesign.com. There's a blue button there for that Facebook page, which will keep you up to date with all my current projects. Uh, it, it, this is kind of a, a natural overlap for me because I've been helping clients out with building storage, you know, solving storage solutions, and doing it in a way that's better than standard. And uh, those same people often ask me about this sort of thing. So it's just progressed into this other thing that I'm getting into.
And uh, the shirts are just a fun thing. I, I kind of want to market them as the hobo survival shirt and make them maybe a little less military. <clears throat> I can understand how this could be a turn off to uh, some people out there. And uh, I just did it because I used the stuff I had. I mean, I, I found a source where I can get these shirts pretty inexpensively. And somebody gave me the BDU shirt that I cut up. But you can go to the swap meet on a weekend, pick one of these up, pick up one of those other shirts, cut the pockets off, sew them up, collect this gear. Or you can have me do it for you. Because, you know, I'll do just about anything for money. <laughs> That's it. Uh, have a good day. Take care of yourself. Drink plenty of water. Smile. Tell some jokes. Make somebody laugh. Do a nice thing for somebody. Goodbye.